Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved and a new series that I am starting up for this game. Specifically, we will be going through all of the official scenarios in the game by popular demand. Uh, I've seen quite a few requests that I go ahead and play through these and I figure, hey, why not? That should be kind of fun. But to make things a little bit more challenging, we are going to try to beat every single scenario on Mega Brutal. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get three stars... Uh, I, I just want to beat it on Mega Brutal. That's a challenge in and of itself. Maybe, though, along the way, I will get lucky and develop a few strategies that will help you get two or at least three stars. If possible, we shall see. But we're going to start off with Santa's Little Helper. One, because it's at the top of the list. And two, because it's one that I have seen a request for several times. So, basically, the world is dark and gloomy. And boring governments worldwide have banned holidays, laughter, and celebration. Humanity has forgotten how to have fun and people dress in gray and spend all their time working. Luckily, the Nurex Worm has teamed up with Santa and is determined to infect the whole world with joy and happiness. Can Santa's little helper make a Christmas miracle? Or just make a miracle happen. But we all, we all know this is supposed to be about Christmas. It's Santa, right? Now, I know this uh, would have been more fun if I had released this on Christmas Day, but, you know, alas, uh, I, I'm a little bit behind the uptake, so eh, it happens. Let's go ahead and play that. Now, as far as choosing our genetic code, uh, we're going to go with Metabolic Jump for extra DNA from Red bio Biohazard Bubbles. I think you could make an argument to go for the ATP boost instead, but I'm going to stick with this. Genetic Mimic for to make us harder to cure so we can get a better score. Aquacite and Extremophile are just always my two favorites. And then Transstasis. Now, this is an absolute necessity. Typical Nurex Worm scenarios, you want to go for Symptostasis because there are a lot of symptoms to go through. But in this case, with Santa's Little Helper, this is very much the transmission game. We are going to get as much transmission as possible in this scenario. Because the goal of Santa's Little Helper will be to infect the whole world with happiness, not to kill them. In fact, that's actually one thing that's really weird about the scenario, is because we are not playing the bad guy trying to destroy humanity. We're trying to, I don't know, save it from itself. So, infection is all that matters, and therefore, we're going to stick with the transstasis. Like I said, we're going to go for Mega Brutal, and it starts off named as XMA3. I'm not really sure why. Unfortunately, as you'll see, we can't really name it Santa's Little Helper, because there's not enough freaking space. So, I'm just going to call it... Elves. I don't know. Elves is fine. We'll just call it Elves. The world is dark and gloomy. We're going to rescue humanity and make them happy again. Fun has been eradicated by all the governments. It's a crime. Choose where to start our Nurax Miracle. Now, because this is Mega Brutal, I'm going to go full try-hard mode, and we will be starting in Saudi Arabia, which I believe is still the best starting location in the game. Uh, and one thing you're going to notice right off the bat that is different. Every single country has their ports and airports closed. They also have their land borders closed. And that is because nobody travels anymore because they don't have fun, and they don't go see relatives, and governments have banned that kind of stuff. So what's weird about this scenario is as we are progressing, we're going to try to open up the borders and the seaports. And the more severe we get, we don't have to worry about governments then closing off the uh, borders again. So a little bit weird in that way. It's going to slow us down a lot in the beginning of the game. But later on, we don't have to worry about it. Now let's take a look at the transmission symptoms and abilities. Um, all right. So starting off, we have Solar Perfume, which is going to increase our infectivity in hot countries. Snowballs for the cold countries. Cracker Cocoon, which I guess is basically like a Christmas cracker. Severely dehydrated worms form cocoons and if pulled, pop and spread eggs. It's disgusting, but it works. Very good in arid countries. Um, humid countries is another option with Fair Weather Friend. And then we have Emotive Radar. Worms develop telepathic abilities, which help them locate humans who are sad, lonely, and uninfected. Increases infectivity everywhere. Now, this is pretty good for just a straight-up passive infectivity boost for pretty cheap, but because we're starting in Saudi Arabia and we can't get into any other countries, it is absolutely critical that we have as strong of a start in Saudi Arabia as possible, namely increasing our hot and arid transmission. Now, I'm going to go for a Cracker Cocoon to start off because it is slightly cheaper than Solar Perfume, but either one would be a pretty viable option if you're willing to wait. Ultimately, though, we just want to get some modifiers that will help us spread in Saudi Arabia a little bit faster. The faster, the better, so we can get DNA so that we can then unlock more countries. Let's take a look at the symptoms. To start off, we only have access to Santa's little Nurax Worm. We breach the blood-brain barrier and try making them happy instead of, you know, depressed and leading them to suicide this time. We're the good guys, you know? 
It's only cost one DNA point, and again, that's a pretty decent amount of infectivity considering, but we really, really want to go for the Arid as soon as possible. So I'm gonna get this first, and then we'll worry about symptoms. Now, abilities are a little bit unusual in Santa's Little Helper. If we play our cards right and we get a little bit lucky, we shouldn't need any abilities except to reduce a cure and get better score. But in case we get unlucky, here are four little presents. They're called Surprise Delivery, and they will infect a random, uninfected country. So, for example, as we are progressing, if we are finding that Greenland is holding out on us, well, just do a Surprise Delivery. It's a 60 and A, and gets you right in there. Pretty easy. You also have our Genetic Hardening and our Genetic Reshuffle, which will be very good for getting the best possible score. And eventually, we will have access to the Trojan Planes that you guys are used to in the Nurax Worm. But, in this particular case, because we don't have to worry about airports shutting down on us and uh, isolating countries, we actually shouldn't need Trojan Planes. I, I know that they're very tempting because you're used to getting it, but in this particular scenario, if we do it correctly, we should not need it. Elves, or whatever, is a force for good. Okay, I kind of may have screwed myself a little bit on the grammar, but they wouldn't let me say Santa's little helper. It's their own fault for the character limitations. Elves can increase the happiness of infected people. Happy people will want to infect others, and they are less likely to work on a cure. So the more people we have infected, the better off we are going to be as far as stopping the cure. Which is awesome, you know? People are going around and spreading the joy and the Christmas cheer. Don't be selfish, everybody. If you're happy and you love your neighbor... I'm sorry, I almost said if you're happy and you know it. Um, clap your hands and go give your neighbor a hug and tell him you love them because that's what Santa's Little Helper wants you to do. We have seven points. Let's go ahead and immediately grab Cracker Cocoon to help us spread a little bit faster in Saudi Arabia. We should start picking up a teensy-weensy bit of steam. We're going to save up for the Solar Perfume next. Again, because as much uh, modifier stacking up in Saudi Arabia as soon as possible, the better. By the way, something you should notice is uh, in this particular scenario, in the news tracker up ahead, they're all depressing and horrible things, like governments banning theme parks or bright clothing. Or in our case, uh, mold wine banned due to links with Christmas, because God forbid that anyone celebrate Christmas and have a very merry holiday. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that solar perfume. It costs nine points. And you know what? While I'm at it, let's go ahead and grab a motive radar. I actually meant to go for the symptoms, and I totally forgot, but I think we will be fine. Let's grab Santa's little Nurax worm. And then we have festive tendrils. Tendril production in the cerebral cavity begins... Uh, enables increased control over host brain, another two points. Bam, also pretty effective. And this will unlock several more options for us. Contentedness, which will help uh, decrease the cure progress. Friendship, which adds in mutation chance. Laughter, just straight up increases infectivity for a pretty reasonable cost considering what you're getting. Digital elf. Now this is actually going to be really important to understand. Host takes happy selfies and shares them with the world. Small chance to tempt people in uninfected countries to open their borders, ports, and airports. This is an extremely important symptom because this is what is going to determine uh, the odds of a nation opening up their ports, their airports, their borders, and so on. There are three levels of this. Once you get to the top, pretty much every country will open up guaranteed. The sooner we get this going, probably the better. So I'm going to get another level of solar perfume for some more infectivity, but after that, we're going to focus on Digital Elf. We also have Sloth, which just reduces happiness. It's a bad thing, and it's actually probably one of the reasons... I mean, it reduces um, severity, I think, which just, I guess, reduces the likelihood that people work on the cure, but realistically, that's not something you want. And then we also have Indulgence, which is another straight-up infectivity boost. Arguably, if you want to go for infectivity the fast, as fast as you can, these are the two you want to go for. Um, I, I, it's, it's hard to say for sure if the mutation will work out for you or develop, uh, decreasing the cure, because you don't get any infectivity out of this. And again, infectivity is kind of king. So I would say um, once you finish off with Digital Elf, either go for Laughter, uh, Indulgence, and maybe Friendship if you really want to roll the dice. Uh, and the friendship is a tree I typically have gone with, but I think this time around I'm going to try going for laughter and indulgence and see if just going for straight up infectivity is going to be better. And there you can see, by the way, we have unlocked gift plane, which is the Trojan plane symptom. We need to save up nine more DNA points with the perfume uh, transmission-y thingy and see how that works out for us, and then we're going to go for the digital elf as much as we can. Now, I'm not too worried about going for digital elf this very second. Why? simply because um, the odds of a plane leaving Saudi Arabia are really low anyways, simply because we have so few people infected. So I want to get a bit more infectivity rolling, and then by the time we have DNA to get Digital Elf, hopefully, 
uh, enough people will be infected that we can really take advantage of that. So let's go ahead and grab Solar Perfume level 2. And then we will go for Digital Elf just to increase our odds as soon as possible. Now, I, I don't know if you could make the argument that it's better to hold off on getting Digital Elf save up as many DNA points and just get all three levels immediately because they do actually provide a pretty substantial amount of severity, which increases the likelihood that you get detected like we just did, so they start working on the cure. And the cure is really what's going to determine if you get a good rating on this scenario or not. Now, this is actually kind of unusual because um, we didn't get a lot of DNA out of Saudi Arabia. I'm not too sure what happened there, but it was really slowing us down. We just happened to get lucky with a bunch of bubbles. That's never happened to me before, and I suspect that's really going to screw with my score in the end, and that's kind of unfortunate, but I think that really was just a matter of luck. Now you're gonna see that a bunch of countries are starting to open up their airports and stuff, which is excellent. Saudi Arabia hopefully will start spreading us to new continents pretty soon. What the heck is going on? This is actually the slowest I've ever seen it. Now I know that playing on Mega Brutal changes the equation a little bit, but this is way rougher than I was expecting. Way, way, way rougher. Let's go for Digital Angel and uh, host films YouTube videos of their happy life. Yes, excellent. It's a wonderful life. And now we're starting to start getting some planes around a heck of a lot faster, get into South Africa and so on. From here on out, though, we're going to focus exclusively on transmissions and try to finish off every single one of them. Because every transmission in the rest of this is going to have a modifier that will help us in some way. So, for example, I'm going to take Stocking Filler now, which is going to increase our infectivity in rich countries, because I did see that we got into Europe, and the faster we spread throughout Europe, the better, because they will have the most contribution to the cure. I'm also going to grab a level of Radio Worm for Urban uh, Transmission. There's also glow worms for world transmission, which would be helpful if it turns out I'm a little slow in Russia. Uh, we actually should also grab a level of snowballs because uh, we are in some cold countries, and I want to make sure we get on the boats from Russia to Greenland as fast as possible, and help that along, let's also grab a level of fair weather friend to improve our infectivity in humid countries, which will work very well in the north and Scandinavia and several islands. Okay, now we're up to 20 points, which we go for next. Um... You know, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab another level of Humid Countries. It's a pretty good amount of infectivity. Uh, it's pretty useful. Iran starts working on the cure. You know, Iran is the one that wants to kill all of our fun. Are you serious, game? That's who you're going to go with? All right. Let's go for Snowballs too. Okay. Things are looking pretty decent right now. I just feel like we got a bit of a late start because we got unlucky, and that's very unfortunate because I feel like it's going to kind of discredit this video a little bit, but... The strategy will definitely work, I think. It's working the way I'm expecting it to, just slower. Uh, eggs nog. Worms secrete a sweet, milky liquid to attract people. Now that's just disgusting. Increasing in arid countries will be useful for us, though. Uh, and we will also grab... You know what? Let's grab another level of snow worm. Because the cold countries are the ones I am the most worried about right now, anyway. Elves placed on a watch list. Yeah, that's... Gonna work out just great. Look, I'm just trying to make y'all happy. Why are you so upset? Let's go for another level of Gold Digger, Memory Lane, again, increasing rich and urban, Sunny Side Up, and Glow Worms for the rural areas. There's only one left, and that is Wild Side. We link telepathically to animals, and they carry us far and wide. We have our little animal helpers. It's awesome. In fact, let's go ahead and grab that, and that is all of the transmission. Again, if you get Transstasis, this is significantly easier. Now we're going to focus our DNA on laughter and many of the other symptoms, as many as we can get. Um, again, like I've said before, I have gone for the mutation chance, but I find that every once in a while it gives you something like slothful, which is not helpful. So I'm going to try just going for infectivity to speed things up to make up for the time lost because we got unlucky. So we're going to go for laughter. That unlocks excitement, which basically does the same thing. We're increasing the dopamine reception. Now, have we gotten into... Okay, we're still missing a few islands. But we're not quite uh, down to one or two countries left, so I'm not going to worry about going for surprise delivery. Let's grab excitement instead. Actually, we got into Greenland a little bit early. Okay, that is excellent. So we're missing the Caribbean, Sweden, and Morocco. I think we'll get into all of those no problem. That actually is kind of lucky, because that means we can save some points on abilities this time around. I hope. Now, the cure is going a lot faster, which is something to be concerned about. We're going to go for indulgence. That leads to partying. Uh, which increases infectivity, and the costs are going way up at this point. Now we're up to 31 points. I'm actually kind of debating whether contentedness might be a good thing for us or not, but let's go ahead and grab partying. Intoxication reduces happiness due to a hangover. Now, this is one I do not recommend picking up. 
So instead, we're probably going to focus on trying to reduce the cure speed as much as possible, because we're actually picking up a lot of speed right now. Sweden, surprisingly, is the one that's giving us trouble. But let's instead go for a level of genetic hardening real quick, uh, because we're just trying to slow down that cure as much as we can. And lo and behold, we're actually going to finish this really quickly. Can I get one more point, please? One more point, please. There we go. We're in the Caribbean. Oh, I missed the Caribbean. Crap. I was not paying attention. Shoot. Whoa. Okay, the cost of genetic shuffle has gone way further up than I was expecting at this point. Um, okay, since that is not going to be an option to us, then we will worry about contentedness as soon as I can get some more DNA. Caribbean, you need to pick up a little speed. I should have grabbed a level of the uh, surprise delivery had I realized we were still missing the Caribbean. That is my mistake. Do not follow me that way. So let's go ahead and grab a level of contentedness. We're just trying to slow down the cure as much as we can, as quickly as we can. All right. No healthy people left in the world. That is one of the benefits of the Caribbean. Once it picks up some steam, it goes really, really fast. What is our score going to be? Well, first thing, joy to the world. Joy to the world. The Nurex worm has saved the world. Humans have a bright new future ahead of them, living together in eternal happiness. Have a great holiday. Again, it would have been awesome if I had released this on Christmas Day, but alas, I did not. Two stars. Damn, I was hoping for three. Yeah, I think that the uh, bad luck with Saudi Arabia and the DNA in the beginning kind of kind of cost us a little bit there. Uh, again, there might be an argument to be made to use ATP boost instead of metabolic boost, just so you can get a little early DNA. Uh, but we did get quite lucky with Greenland. We probably would have gotten three stars if I had not made the mistake with the Caribbean. So this strategy should work pretty well for you. Again, I'm not necessarily trying to go for three stars. But I think this strategy actually could lead to three stars if uh, played a little bit better than I just did and maybe a little bit luckier. But anyway, yeah, so that is the first one down. Next will be teleportation. Um, I'm not too sure how often I will be releasing videos on these official scenarios. I'll kind of work them in as I can with my regular schedule. But I do hope that you are excited for the rest of the series. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. And leave a comment with your suggestions and subscribe if you have not already. My name is Provis. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.